Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to episode 10 of Space Engineers. So, I've had a few questions about the torpedoes that I did in an episode or two ago, I'm asking like how would I load them into the ship, and like how would I do it properly without just building them inside the torpedo hole. So this is the mechanism that I worked up, I fixed the crane, so the crane does not go out of control anymore, and I, I just completely scrapped the idea of it carrying cargo and moving it around there, I thought this would just be a torpedo bay. I've also extended the space station and added a refueling bay as well, but the torpedo system actually works now, so I can load them in. But going away from that, as I'm going to load this in here in a second, I'm going to talk about some of the torpedoes and what I've been working on them actually themselves. So, the first torpedo test that you saw me do the other day, it worked well. It, it put two large holes in a target, but I wanted it to do better. I wanted it to get better armor penetration or do more damage. So let's just hold that there and we'll actually take a look at this torpedo. So you saw the design of the original torpedo. The original torpedo was just a flat head without this tip. So with this tip, when I've tested it, what happens is it pushes on the end and it pushes that block back inwards that creates like a, a more of a flat head design, so like a squash head sort of shell. So when it hits, it does a bit more damage, but I've actually developed a shell that does a lot more damage. And to actually use these shells, I decided to build a new ship. And there it is. That is going to be the new ship for firing my new armored penetrating torpedoes. But torpedoes? Torpedoes, yes. That are going to be basically fired from here. So the name of it is the Broadsword. I do apologize for the actual camouflage or paint job that's on it at the moment. I'm going to actually ask, have to ask you. I was thinking about doing some stripy patterns down it, like turn it all black and then do stripes of yellow or maybe stripes of blue I'm not too sure, you'll have to tell me in the comments below but I'll show you the new torpedo design I built two torpedoes in this, we've got a standard and we've got like a squash head sort of flat impact round so up here we've got a standard torpedo but what I've done here is I've made it a lot sharper at the front instead of the block design of the original one that was a lot bigger, it's sharper but it's also got these wings here basically when these wings clip when this front end break it breaks off this back part as well and causes even more damage and you'll see it and then I've got a second armored penetrating round that I've been working on let's get down here try to avoid a lot of this lag I do apologize it's because of this ship's size it's so massive okay so we're in the second hangar so now we've got a different sort of torpedo head so basically what happens when this impacts it bends over and the rest of the actual the, the torpedo flips and bends into it and creates a massive crater but this is the breaching ship so the idea was to make it as thin as possible because the thin ship is going to be harder to hit when it's coming towards you I don't know if you've seen reactive armor on tanks and stuff and like um, that sort of fencing that they put around the vehicles these days but basically these pylons are acting like that so these can catch an incoming missile round or something and block it from actually getting to the core center of the ship and in here is actually the breaching area, so once you've launched your torpedoes, one of your torpedoes is impacted, you use this to breach. So I'm going to show you the new torpedo today, and I'm going to show you the ship. So it's a very high speed, high performance ship. The interior is not done yet, but it's going to be able to store a lot of infantry equipment, and it's going to have crew quarters, and finally some extra hangars. So the target is set up way over there. It's actually down there, actually. So let's get inside and I'll show you how it's doing. So once we get away from the station, the lag resolves a little bit. But I don't think it's too bad, to be honest. I think this will be the last build I do on this project, so I might release it on the Steam Workshop. Actually, I will do. So you can have a go with some torpedoes yourself. You have to make them in the hangar and then load them in. But I think that's more fun than them being pre-constructed for you. Right, so the top, so we're not going to ram that. And line that up. And I think we should be ready, right? So prep. I've got to make sure all my systems are sorted. So we lined up, I think. We'll hit at least with one torpedo. We need to get up to 71, hit the brakes, launch it, and then follow it in behind. So let's try that. Here we go. Speed's increasing pretty fast. That's what you need with this sort of ship. Fast, high speed. So we're getting up to the meters a second. I don't want it to drift off target here. And we're approaching. We're on target, I think. We've got a bit of an angled armor, so it's going to be a bit harder to it even. And I'm going to hit the brakes shortly. And hopefully missiles will go on target. Hitting the brakes at 71 exactly. 
torpedoes have been released. There we go. So now this is a test. So one torpedo is definitely missed, but the second is going to impact. The second one is the shape charge one, so this should twist. Like you see, you see how it's twisted? And it's made that perfect hole. Beautiful. You see how it's penetrated the armor and gone through? That's exactly the design we were looking for. So the other torpedo, you didn't get to see the design, but I'll show that in another episode. And then obviously we can line it up with the breaching hole. That's the center. So just power towards it. Breaching hole in the ready. Well, at the ready. I'm going to have to work out probably a better way of doing this. Ah, screw it. We'll get out. I don't need to show you it attach. But well, basically, this ship's designed to take damage. Uh, we'll just have to break if I can move top. Right, there we go. And out we come. So, that was the new armor penetrating round. As you saw yesterday, well, not yesterday, as you saw when I released the last one, what actually happened is the, the missile didn't actually go through. You see how it's still got enough velocity and it came through the other side. So, it's a smaller impact hole. But it's had more power, more kinetic energy to go through, and at the exact same speed as the last ship. So the difference is, is the design in the torpedo. So now the torpedo is actually outside the ship. I guess I can show you a little bit better. So there's the hole. Very nice, just enough for a breaching party to get on board. So this was the armored penetrating round that I built. Uh, if you know anything about this sort of stuff, triangles are stronger than actually other shapes, but. I didn't think that would actually exist in Space Engineers. So you see how the beginning's actually impacted, it's crushed, it's ca and it's caused this as it's broke through. So you can see the design in full effect. As it's impacted, it's squashed down, but the actual force of that part squashing down has caused it to continue pushing, and it came right through. That's beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and thanks for watching, and I'll probably see you in the next episode.